The core message I wanted to get across was one of hope. The valedictorian of the University of Southern California class of 2024 won't be giving a speech at graduation. Going against tradition, the school's provost wrote in an open letter that rescinding the invitation to speak was, quote, necessary to maintain the safety of our campus and students. Osna Tabasum will graduate top of her class with a major in biomedical engineering and an interdisciplinary minor in resistance to genocide. That's a program at USC that gives courses in topics like the Armenian and Rwandan genocides, the Native American experience, and the Holocaust. Tabasum told CBS News that she has not been informed of what the safety concerns are. I was never given the evidence that any safety concerns and that any security concerns were founded. Tabasum has been clear in her support for Palestinian people and asserts that she is not anti-Semitic. Years before the October 7th Hamas terrorist attack on Israel and Israel's subsequent retaliation, she shared a link on her private Instagram page that gave information regarding what was happening in Gaza. Pro-Israel student groups took their complaints about the website that Tabassum did not create or write to the school's administration. I'm not apologizing for the link that I put in my Instagram. What I am saying is that I'm committed to human rights. I'm committed to the human rights for all people. She describes herself as a first-generation South Asian American Muslim who wears a hijab. Tabassum says she is being penalized for living out, quote, the very lessons USC taught me. I think anyone who's watching this can draw their own conclusion. I look what I look like. I am who I am. This turn of events has some USC students questioning whether this is safety or censorship. I think a lot of people were upset about that um, and it's kind of people are like believing that it's just kind of limiting her free speech. She's talking about issues that are important to not only our university and to students but to the world and I think that that is someone that should speak at our as a valedictorian and like she's more than qualified. In canceling Tabassum's speech, USC says, quote, we cannot ignore the fact that similar risks have led to harassment and even violence at other campuses. Graduation at USC, which normally draws about 65,000 people to campus, will take place on May 10th. Osna Tabassum, the 2024 valedictorian, has not said whether or not she will attend. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm TC Newman.